Good morning and welcome to Community Connections for Saturday, August 8th. This is a time when we look at how we can help our neighbors, how we can love and serve them. All the details for the ideas that I'll be talking about can be found on our website at www.stpaulsduluth.org slash community dash connections. The first way is by helping CHUM, which is our wonderful local organization that is a collaboration among many congregations. And one of the things that they do is operate a shelter for families at the Steve O'Neill Apartments. Right now they have six units that are furnished for families who are experiencing homelessness and need a temporary place to stay. They're raising money for the purchase of a commercial washer and dryer for use by the families in that shelter. And a GoFundMe has been set up, so I would encourage you if you have some resources to donate to this worthy cause. Also regarding CHUM, the backpack goal of 1,400 filled backpacks has been met. What a great accomplishment due to the generosity of so many of you. So thanks to all who have contributed to that online backpack drive. They'll be distributed to children and teens in our community the last week of August. Another way that we can help our neighbor is by encouraging everyone you know to complete the census that is now closing on September 30th instead of October 31st. Anyone can complete the 2020 census at www.2020census.gov. Another way to help our neighbors is by being a part of our St. Paul Sandwich Ministry. If you'd like to make 20 sandwiches to drop off at church twice a month on Thursdays, the first and third Thursdays of the month, you can contact Tom Hamilton at tomhamilton at stpaulsduluth.org or 724-3535. And you can make sandwiches in your home and drop them off, or you can volunteer to help assemble the packages or drop them off at CHUM. And finally, I wanted to announce that this is my final hosting of Community Connections. For those who might be tuning in for the first time or might not know, my husband Bill is the rector here at St. Paul's and has been called to become the next rector of St. Michael and All Angels on Sanibel Island in Florida. So we'll be departing St. Paul's on August 30th to begin this exciting new chapter in our lives. It's been a joy and a privilege to serve as the Christian Formation Director at St. Paul's for the past 14 years and also as the host of Community Connections since March when we started at the beginning of the pandemic. Beginning next Saturday, parishioner Amber Sadowski, who is also the Development Director of LifeHouse, and parishioner Brad Brunfeldt will be taking on the responsibilities of Community Connections. So I wish all of you the best. I thank Amber and Brad for taking on this important ministry and continue to reach out and love your neighbor.